Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We've got quite a bit of sunshine on the way today again. Right now we're under those mostly clear skies. Just a few clouds passing through though. Uh, we are going to continue to see those dry conditions lingering for a while now that our high pressure is building in. So winds are fairly light this morning out of the north and northeast about five miles per hour and we'll continue to see those shifting and then eventually making their way towards the south for tomorrow. So our future winds this morning, they're out of the north and east around five or so miles an hour shifting to the east this afternoon, staying pretty light though. So this is going to uh, be a very pleasant afternoon for us, I think. But by the time we get to tonight and into tomorrow morning, winds start to shift to the south and east and then start to pick up through the afternoon. So we could have some wind gusts tomorrow, potentially on the order of 15 to 20 miles an hour. And then we'll actually see these winds increasing even more as we head towards the weekend. And with that south wind, comes our warmer temperatures. It's really going to pull in that warmth from the south for us as that high pressure really takes hold over the next few days. So right now we've got quite a range of temperatures down to 48 now in Marysville with the calm wind, but we have that light breeze though. So that is keeping some of us a little warmer. 61 in Emporia. Same goes for Burlington and Lawrence. 60 at Junction City and we're down to 54 now in Hiawatha. This afternoon, we should all warm up at least to near 80, maybe even into the middle 80s for some of us. So we're still above average, but not as warm as we're going to be when that south wind kicks in. So tonight, dropping back to the low 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll likely warm up into the lower, perhaps even some middle 90s. You may be thinking that this looks like it's overdoing it. Maybe by a couple of degrees, I think we're probably are going to be very warm no matter which way you look at it tomorrow. And then our temperatures climb a little bit further for Friday and Saturday with a stronger wind. Satellite and radar, we've got those clear skies right now. Zooming out, we have that nearby storm system that's just kind of been uh, taking its sweet time trying to get out of here. So that's currently trying to move a little bit further off to the east and northeast. Incidentally, that is what brought us that very slight chance for those uh, showers that we saw yesterday afternoon. We just had a piece of energy kind of rotating around the back side of that. Otherwise, we've got high pressure starting to build in. You've got this ridge in the jet stream here and that will continue to move off to the east, bringing that warmth with it and all of our sunshine. So future check starts at 7 a.m. today, mostly sunny skies. We'll stay clear tonight and we've got more sunshine, quiet conditions heading our way for Thursday and beyond as well. And there are some indications that even though we are seeing a, a slight chance for some showers by the middle part of next week, we may still be on the warmer side of things. So well above average for this time of the year, especially considering our average high 77 will likely be in the low to mid 90s straight through the first half of the weekend with that stronger south wind. Winds back off just a little bit for Sunday and Monday, hopefully keeping temperatures in check just a little for us. And then we're looking at that slight chance for rain coming back into the picture with a storm system Tuesday night and into Wednesday. It is going to be a warm one, so take it easy out there the end of this week and into the weekend. We'll be right back after this break.